yet another shark sighting has tourists and locals in southern Maine on edge. Good evening, everybody. I'm Cindy Williams and I'm Lee Nelson in again tonight for Pat Callahan. This shark was first spotted off the coast of Wells yesterday, but today a new warning from officials for people even thinking of venturing into the water. New Center Maine's Zach Blanchard is in Wells with the latest. Hey, Zach. Hey, Lee and Cindy. Yeah, that warning to swimmers only to swim in knee deep water and believe it or not to lifeguards, no deep water rescues. Another Maine Beach community on high alert. There's a little bit of a warning, but we're being vigilant. Town officials in Wells urging locals and tourists to take caution in these waters. Swimming still restricted to knee deep after this nine foot great white shark was spotted here Thursday. Well, we get many fin calls a week, uh, reports of fins, and the first thing we try to do is definitely confirm. And now lifeguards have been asked to stay out of the deep water too even for rescues. Definitely um, a tough decision to make. It's not one that we took lightly. Fire Chief Mark Dupree says it's for everyone's protection. And to put our lifeguards in jeopardy due to someone's lack of wanting to follow our rules and regulations, then that's the thought process behind it. We don't want to put our um, our lifeguards in jeopardy if we can if we can absolutely avoid it. This sighting adding to a string of five other confirmed white shark sightings in Maine all within a week. According to the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy, the first was near Thrumcap Island off of South Bristol on July 26th. A day later, Julie Dimpiro Holowak was killed by a great white while swimming just 20 feet from the shore off Bailey Island. Then came reports from Cousins Island in Yarmouth, East Booth Bay Harbor, and then back near Bailey Island, all within a day of each other. But there were no more confirmed sightings until Thursday in Wells. Great white populations are increasing. By no means are they looking for humans. We are not on their menu. Um, it, it will always be a case of mistaken identity. As the search for the latest shark continues, people here are happy just to play it safe. And the kids are happy to go up to their knees for right now and it's to be expected. Now, officials say they hope to lift those restrictions as early as tomorrow, but there are still some safety tips you can take into consideration if you're planning to hit the water this weekend. Remember, swim in designated areas only where a lifeguard is present and always swim with a buddy and stay within your capabilities. Lee and Cindy.